Hello and welcome to The Breakdown. Today we will be talking about routers, modems, and your home network. This is the first video in a series about how to fix your internet connection when it goes down. We've got a lot to talk about, so let's get right into it. I want to start with a general overview of the network that you use to connect to the internet. In your home, you likely have a router and a modem, so let's talk about what they are and what they are used for. Now this is a modem. It plugs directly into your wall and acts as the first step in providing your home with an internet connection. This modem connects directly to your cable line, satellite, dish, or phone line in order to provide your house with an internet connection. Now if you see this metal barrel that I've circled on the back of your modem, you likely have a cable or satellite modem. If instead you see a port to plug in a phone line, you likely have a digital subscriber line or DSL modem. For the purposes of this video, we will be talking about cable modems, but the general principles apply to the other types of modems as well. The purpose of a modem is to act as a translator for your devices. Your devices cannot understand the internet signal that comes in through your wall. Thus, you need a modem to translate that signal into something your devices can understand. Any information that is sent to your home network from the internet will first be translated by your modem before being sent along to any devices that are plugged into your modem. You could, theoretically, plug your computer directly into this ethernet port and connect your computer to the internet. But what if you have more than one device? Let's say you'd like to plug your computer, your phone, your laptop, and your television all into the same modem. Well, as you see on this modem, you only have one ethernet port. You would need some separate machine that would be able to route the internet connection that comes out of this ethernet port to all of the devices you wish to connect. Something like a router. Now this is a router. It plugs into your modem and provides each of your devices with a separate route which they can use to connect to your modem. The router plugs directly into your modem and takes the internet connection provided by the modem and spreads it among all of your devices. You can plug your devices directly into the router using these ethernet ports here, or you can connect them wirelessly using a wireless network. Once the router is plugged into the modem, it will provide internet connection to each of your devices independently so that they can all connect to the internet. But wait, you might be saying, I only have one box in my house. Am I missing something? Well, maybe yes and maybe no. Now let's look at this machine. This is a combination modem router. When we look at the back, we see the coaxial cable port here where it takes in the internet connection over your cable line and translates it like a modem. But we also see Ethernet ports on the back here, which can be used to route the internet connection to all of your devices. This machine provides the functionality of both a modem and a router within one machine. It also has a wireless transmitter built into this machine, so you can connect to your devices wirelessly. So if you have something like this, you have everything you need for your home network. However, not all machines are as they appear. Let's take a look at this machine, which I have in my home. When we look at the back, we see the coaxial cable port, as well as ethernet ports, and it has a built-in antenna. Unfortunately, this is not a combination router modem. Instead, that coaxial cable line is built so that you can connect your television cable box to this router. This machine still needs a modem to be plugged into it in order to provide your devices with an internet connection. If you are unsure as to whether you have a combination modem router like this machine, or just an advanced router like this one here, check your instruction manual or contact your internet service provider for more information. One final note. Remember how I said you could plug your computer directly into your modem and connect to the internet? Don't do that. I repeat, do not connect your computer directly to your modem. Back in the days of dial-up internet, it used to be common practice to plug your modem directly into your computer or have a built-in modem inside of your computer. 
but these days, routers provide safety and security features that can prevent hackers from accessing data on your computer. If you plug your computer directly into your modem without using a router, you are giving up these safety and security features and could be potentially exposing your data across the internet to any hacker that wants to try and access it. So once again, do not plug your computer directly into your modem. If you're looking for a simple solution, try exploring one of these combination modem routers that we talked about before, rather than plugging your computer directly into your modem. So, to review, the internet connection comes into your home through your cable line, satellite dish, or digital subscriber line, and that signal gets translated by your modem. Then, your modem transmits the translated signal to your router to be distributed across all of your devices. You can plug your devices directly into your router using an Ethernet cable, or you can connect them wirelessly using a wireless network. In the next video, we will use the knowledge we discussed today to diagnose and fix problems that you might run into with your modem. And in the video after that, we will use the knowledge that we discussed today to diagnose and fix problems with your router. If you learned something in this video, feel free to give it a like. If you're looking forward to the next videos that are coming, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to turn on notifications. And if you have any questions about your home network, feel free to leave them in the comments section below, and I'll be happy to answer them. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. You must be really interested in the content that we have here. If you're looking for more or want to contribute to the discussion on what topics I should cover next, head over to my Patreon page. There's a link in the description below, and it's a great place to get involved with the content that I make. Furthermore, I'm also looking to offer one-on-one -on -one tech support services through Patreon as well, so you can check out the link in the description below. Thanks for watching.